We find Danny Collins at the end of the line, really. Danny is a big, famous musician, some cross between Neil Diamond and Barry Manilow and Rod Stewart. He is incredibly wealthy, incredibly famous, and incredibly miserable. See those golden girls in the front room? You can't see who's your fans, Danny. I'm Al Pacino's old manager. He's found this John Lennon letters. You remember the an interview when you were a kid? You write like Lennon, man. John Lennon read it, and he wrote you a letter. He never received it at that crucial time in his life. Being rich and famous doesn't corrupt your art. Only you can do that. And he kind of has a freak out. Like, if I had gotten this letter, my whole life would have been different. I, I would have paid attention to John Lennon. I'm a joke. I haven't written a song in 30 years. I want to cancel the rest of the tour. He drops everything in his life, and he goes back to fix what he wishes that he could have fixed in the past. I need a plane. Jersey. Oh, welcome to the Hilton, Danny Collins. And he goes to stay at the Hilton which is where I come into the story. So you're staying indefinitely? Are you on drugs? Currently or in general? Currently. No. Dinner? I'm going to have to decline. You're not a fan? Currently or in general? In general. No. But we have good patter. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is he starts to connect to other things, like the son he's never seen. He finds this son, played by Bobby Cannavale, and I play his wife. It's all a big mess when Danny shows up. I've spent my entire life trying to become the man that you aren't. I don't know what to say. I, I don't need you to say anything, man. I just need you to leave. He legitimately comes from a place of wanting to help. He makes a decision to connect with his family. Oh, he married well. He did. You see what you missed out on? Perfect daughter-in-law. Family can be messy, but you shouldn't give up. I agree. Dinner tomorrow? <laughs> Good night, Danny. The story has romantic chemistry to it. How do I move? Honestly, you look slightly ridiculous. Nah. <laughs> See you at seven. No, you won't. He's sort of ready for something else in his life. It's very beautiful that way. It's got a lot of heart. It's delightful to play a budding romantic thing. I haven't written anything in a long time. Mary thinks it's really good. Oh, the Woodcliff Lake hotel manager. Oh, and I feel much better. Action, Al. I wrote it thinking of Pacino. When a director really wants you to play this part, you have to say, all right, I'll do it. I did that with The Godfather. Francis wanted me to play Michael Corleone. He was so adamant. And Dan, he wanted me to play this part. Great, great, great. Oh, this movie should make you feel good. This movie is really about reconnecting with the people that you love and finding yourself. It is absolutely true entertainment and very human and very funny and very touching. You having fun? A little, yeah. I'm very excited. All of our songs in the film are original masters of John Lennon. It provides a beautiful backdrop and really becomes a character in the movie. It just touched me. It really moved me. And I'm hoping that that comes through in the movie. Dinner tomorrow? You know what I like about you? You never give up. Some dinners are worth fighting for.